Hello, uh, my name is Chris, and uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about support group, um, at least the one that I attended. I'm Julie, I'm a burn survivor, and I'd like to talk to you about support groups. I never would have expected that I would have gone into a support group. I uh, was pretty resistant. Um, even when the foundation came to the hospital to visit me, I didn't want any part of the organization, the foundation. I didn't need any help. Um, I was wrong. Um, the support groups have actually been very, very useful. I never would have thought of saying that. How's it going, guys? This is Baby Bear here, a.k.a. Joey. Uh, I wanted to talk with you guys about what, uh, what the Brent Foundation has been providing with means of support groups and how they've uh, helped me out in the, in the past year or two years I've been, uh, been attending them. Um, there's been in-person support groups that I've attended um, here in the North Bay and there's support groups all throughout the, um, the Bay Area and California, I believe. But now that things have changed a little bit, um, we are all on a digital connecting front and uh, the Burn Foundation is doing everything they can do to help us all connect uh, during these, uh, these different times. Hi there, my name is Peter. I am a burn survivor of 14 years and have been attending the Central Valley support, burn support group for all 14 years. I've been attending mostly because of my injuries and giving support to others. Um, I had to be dragged kicking and screaming into the support group. Um, I was visiting outpatient for my weekly follow-up after I was discharged. And while I was there, uh, the burn check, the angel of my life when I was inpatient, Chela, um, ran into me and dragged me from the outpatient clinic over to the support group and um, made me join the group. I'm a father of a survivor. My daughter, Elise, was burned um, when she was uh, uh, eight years old on December 24th, Christmas Eve, um, 2012. She's 16 now. Um, now although she's physically healed, um, we, as a family, um, still need the medical heal. The I'm sorry, not the medical healing. The the um, the mental healing. The um, that is kind of lingered um, through the burns and, t and the trauma. Uh, support groups have helped me uh, just see some familiar faces. Um, it's just nice, even even though I have been timid on going to the support group sometimes. Um, once I got there, I felt that just being in the presence of people that are familiar with what I'm going through or have gone through, um, that in itself is, is, is relieving and releasing to, to, to just sit there and connect with those people, even if it's not about, uh, survivor issues, um, or survivor, survivor processes. Um, it's also very rewarding to meet, uh, new friends and, uh, more, uh, burn survivor family and, and. And uh, even though I'm usually not intending to meet new people, when I do see other other people that have been through what I've been through, obviously it's a automatic connection because we've uh, we process this thing called life in, in a similar way. And uh, sometimes I don't feel that like I need the support group that day. Um, but once I get there, I always feel better um, in just hearing other people's stories or spilling my beans what I'm processing that that week or that month or whatever has come up, um, it's nice. Once I leave, I always feel better after after the ses session. I've always thought that being part of a group or organization, like the one who puts on the support group is, uh, is a big deal to me and to my family. I would highly recommend it to anybody who has a burn injury maybe struggling with um, finding themselves or being comfortable with themselves due to their burn injuries. I originally started attending when I was in the hospital. As a young boy, I was 14, and I hadn't been admitted to the hospital for, by burn injuries. And 
while I was there, I started attending support group. Shortly thereafter, I started attending monthly and just made it a habit of mine, a routine, put it in my schedule. And it's something I look forward to now. It's something that um, motivates me, something that pushes me to be a better individual, better person. And um, after attending for so many years, I've transitioned from the stage of needing so much support to giving support. I never knew that, you know, I thought you just get hurt or you get burned and you go to the hospital and then when you're healed up, you're healed up and you're done. Um, that's not the case with burn injuries, at least um, severe ones uh, for most people. Um, early on, um, we were uh, put in touch with the Elusa and Rouge Burn Foundation, uh, uh, even when um, she was in the hospital. Um, I was able to attend my first support group uh, while she was um, healing uh, and going through her surgeries. Um, when I, uh, first attended, it was a very small gathering, um, and I had no idea, no idea what I was getting into or what this was, or if, it, you know, I thought it was just going to be a temporary thing. Uh, you know, we go in, we talk a couple of times and then, um, the hospital's happy or whatever, and we're done. That first group was challenging for me because I'm not someone who really, uh, it was comfortable with the idea of a support group. Um, but I quickly found that it was actually really kind of useful. First of all, it was useful for practical reasons. Um, questions like, do I have to wear the support garments? Or will the itching ever stop? Or what do I do about this? Um, those kinds of questions were questions that we could ask of each other and get some real life as opposed to what the medical personnel might tell you um, information um, or at least experiences understand how things were for other people um, secondly you could get information about treatments that you may or may not even have known about uh, different kinds of lotions perhaps for me i met a burn survivor who was in the midst of undergoing uh, laser treatments, and I'd never heard of laser treatments as a way of treating your scars. Um, if it hadn't been for her, I probably would not have uh, been even aware of that as an option for me. Um, so I learned through, and I did actually go ahead and move forward with laser treatments. Sometimes we don't even need to talk at these sessions. Sometimes we just need to hear what other people were going through and what their process is, whether it be the day-to-day -day life that that we all go through our jobs our our finances our, our relationships um, sometimes it's just nice to hear somebody else's process and uh, I found that just listen to other people's process it'll help me open up um, a bit and reflect on something that I was going through that I didn't think of sharing before I went to the group and um, sometimes people need to hear our perspective as well um, just go in there and sharing your story, sharing what has been bothering you, sharing what how you've overcome, how you've processed your your trials and tribulations um, within the last month, within the last year, however long it's been since you've had a chance to connect. It's it's very nice to be able to do that um, with people that are of like mind and have have processed things um, just as heavy as we have. This has given me a platform and. A place where I can give love and give support to those who need it. Uh, burn injury is a life-changing experience. It's a traumatic experience. It changes your whole outlook on everything. And I feel that with this support group, we um, help our survivors realize that just because they have an injury, it doesn't define them. It doesn't you know, necessarily change who they are as a person. They still have personalities. They still live normal lives. And I feel like being able to attend this support group, giving them an outlet really makes a difference. Early on, I felt welcomed. Um, 
it was it was in a situation where oh um you're counting you know you're you're um comparing the you know the size of your your straws or whatever there's none of that um whether uh whether somebody's burned um just a little bit or a lot um it can be a life-changing experience um <clears throat> and I didn't feel any kind of uh, um, competition or anything like that. All I felt was uh, love and a want um, to to heal me. You know, their love and their want to heal me and my family and our and our needs. Um, they, we uh, end up addressing all sorts of things. Um, things I didn't really no came along with it like um anxieties of not knowing uh, where to go next what to do um all sorts of questions that come up um through the um the the uh, traumas of just being scared in the hospital environment uh, to going home to dealing with um you know the anxieties of going back to school and so forth for you know taking my daughter back to school getting her back into elementary school um, and, uh, um, basically everything was addressed, um, and everything can be addressed through those support groups. Um, so many questions come arise and, and all of these different perspectives, perspectives from different people, um, that have all these different come back from different walks of life. I mean, really, um, there's so many life changes that come with burn injuries and, um, I think all the love and support that comes through the support group and the people that I've met um, has really just been nothing but nurturing and healing. Um, and uh, in the support group, we talk about, we dish out stuff that um, you you might, you know, I found at first wasn't very comfortable to, but now I look forward to um, basically um, putting our emotions out on the table and letting everybody um, just kind of uh, give their perspective. Um, and along came with that was trust. Uh, um, the people that I know in my support group, I trust with all my heart. And um, they know probably some of the deepest, dark, darkest things and feelings that I felt um, out of the trauma, you know. Other things that I learned from support group um, it was a place where you could get tips and techniques. Um, again, it, we all navigate our, our healing for the first time. And it's really helpful to get some advice from others who are at different stages in their healing, who may have um, been out there a year ahead of you, 10 years ahead of you in your healing. And that leads to a second aspect. I, I am emphasizing starting out with the practical, but obviously there's a psychological component. And again, uh, for someone who is kind of resistant to that kind of, um, you, know, I, you know, I thought I didn't need it. But it turns out it was um, remarkably helpful to have other people to talk to about things as simple as uh, the hypervigilance that follows many burn survivors, maybe all burn survivors, I don't know, but in my case, uh, I was hypervigilant for months and didn't even know how to put a word, a name to that experience. I just knew that danger seemed to lurk everywhere. Um, I learned through the burn support group that other people had been through similar situations, that there were ways to address it, and that you weren't alone. Human connection, whether physical or digital, is something that we, uh, we don't realize we need um, sometimes. We, we isolate um, individually, just like going our, on, on our devices, in our rooms, or on our computers, whatever, and um, forget that actual uh human connection and perspective from other people's um other people's mindsets is is actually vital to to our growth and to our um stability i didn't really realize that until the uh, last couple of digital sessions that i went to 
um, they really help me um, get grounded again and feel like I'm not alone and, and all these things that I'm thinking and that I'm feeling. And just because we aren't in actual person-to-person -person contact doesn't mean that we aren't affecting each other in, in major, major ways. Um, the energy that I send to the people that I love from where I sit can be felt, will be felt. Um, putting my energy towards them, putting my love towards them will affect them and vice versa. So that's why these groups are, are, are also very, very helpful because you see these people um, directly um, on, your, on your device or eventually when we're able to do groups in person again, um, they're, they're extremely helpful to, um, to, to just give another person your, your energy and your, your positive vibration and you will receive that as well. If you, whatever you project reflects back at you. So what, you, what energy you put out will come back to you. I'm really glad, glad for the people who run it. They push so hard for it and I'm so happy to be a part of it. I actually look forward to going every month I look to forward to the new styles of events that we're doing with the support group. We've um, been changing it up a little bit, you know, getting more activities involved, having the survivors be more interactive, and which I think is great because it kind of gets us out of our shell. Um, as humans, we sometimes are shy to new activities, new experiences, so doing it in a different way with this support group I feel is a big deal because it gets us out of our shell it gets us more comfortable with ourselves and I'm I'm really glad to be attending I hope to be attending for many more years um, I I couldn't picture my life without it I couldn't picture myself being the strong confident individual I am without being part of a support group and be, be, being able to give back to others some of the people that some maybe all of the people that attend the support group i would consider close friends and family uh we you know i look for, like i said i look forward to seeing these people i want to know about their lives i want to know what's going on outside of support group i want to see them flourish and develop into strong individuals themselves it, it, it gives me great satisfaction seeing someone go in day one and being nervous, uh, shy, and then months later, maybe even years later, they're talkative, they're friendly, they're interactive, they're giving others support. Through, through the experiences and the trauma that we've all experienced, um, everybody else will do that too they'll they'll put out their experiences and and um we all kind of delve in and um uh at the end of the day um we might not have all the answers but just the fact that we have that camaraderie and sense of we're not alone you know we'll, there are others that are dealing with these experiences too just leaving with that is um, a lot of times enough to continue the healing um, and make you crave more, more support group. It also helped me to gain new perspective, to hear not just from burn survivors in the groups, but also from family members, from caregivers, to understand their perspective and to take that back into my own healing and my own situation uh, and, and become more aware of what family members go through, what caregivers go through, uh, understanding their position. Um, gosh, I think at the end of the day, the thing that was most important to me and that kept me coming back to support group was meeting people who were all united by a single kind of experience. We were all burn survivors, uh, and yet we were, we represented every walk of life. 
every kind of career, life experience, where people came from, uh, where they were going. Uh, that was truly remarkable. I felt like I was part of a new tribe of people who had my back and whose back I wanted to protect. Um, and as a result, I kept going to Burns support groups for um, on a regular monthly basis for the first year of my healing. Uh, then as time went by, I came less frequently, but always found it to be a place where I could um, talk through and share where I was in my convalescence, in my recovery, in my reintegration into life. Uh, things like dealing with hidden burns. My burns are hidden. Um, learning how to reveal them or coming up with a plan to try to feel like it was okay again to 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 show those scars um, and to see others who had really been through so much more than I had it was in many ways a uh, reality it was a level setting it was making me grateful for what I had when I understood uh, how much worse so many other people have. Another thing is um, with these bonds and this love that I have, that I've built with these people in my group, um, it, it's kind of like um, giving support, um, giving love. It, 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 that in a sense, for me at least, is healing um, in its own. Um, it might take away from this the selfless sounding side of it because um, it, it may seem selfless to want to continue support group even if it's been years since our trauma experience um, but for me to go to support group a lot of times it's not about um, trying to find healing for me and for my daughter or or whoever is going to be going in for them. Um, somebody might be 15 years out or 20 years out from their burn injury or their family member's burn injury. But um, just them or just me giving that support to somebody else or being able to answer somebody else's questions or, 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 or relate to them in some way um, is still kind of a healing nature um, in and of itself. And, um, all that just kind of bounces around and it goes, you know, from one person to the other, to the other, to the other. And, um, with that, um, is the trust and the love and the camaraderie that I seriously cannot get anywhere else. I get it from support group. I think the other thing that I'm very excited about now is not everyone can get to monthly person-to-person -person, uh, support groups at a hospital or other venue. But having gotten involved in the early stages of the online peer support, um, I find this really uh, a great way to connect with fellow survivors and their families uh, uh, who are geographically distributed who for one reason or another would not be able to get to their own local support group um, and I have the the benefit now through the online support groups of meeting people across the state of California and this has been just really um, engaging and an important part of my journey back to what my post burn life is um, I want to thank the foundation, the Elisa and Rouge Byrne Foundation, for supporting me and making it possible for me to attend the groups and for the other programs that they have provided for me. Um, and say a big shout out to all of my fellow survivors out there. You are great, you are the best, and I love you. Um, support group is really one of those things that I look forward to. 
um, in life, and uh, um, it is definitely the highlight of the month. Um, and and my daughter and I both um, like hold it as far as this. It's it's the most important thing, really. Um, um, healing and continuing the healing and helping. Um, I can't express enough um, with these people uh, that I've met in support group I would have otherwise not met at all. Um, we have literally no link. Um, hardly anything in common. We like different types of music. Um, different sports sports teams, <laughs> um, we're from different cities all together. Um, I travel, we travel, um, <clears throat> over an hour away just to go to support group on Tuesday nights. And, uh, I would miss it. So, um, if you have had trauma, um, burn injury and you're, and you're just kind of considering going to support group and you know you're having doubts or your um your daughter or your son or your husband or your wife is going through it and you've had those um doubts about support group give it a try um it took me a, a couple of weeks or a couple you know a couple of months coming um to really kind of feel like um I truly belonged I guess it was just, I think it was in my own head just kind of um the self-doubt you know but just after a couple months um I felt welcomed I felt loved I felt like um this is what this is what we needed in our life um we still attend uh every month and uh my daughter, uh, it's kind of a split group. She, she go, we basically arrive. She goes off and attends a teen support group, um, version. Um, and they go off into a different section and, uh, she has friends in there that are all survivors, um, her age, her age group, and they can bounce off what they do. A lot of times they do little art projects and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, I attend the adult session and it's an amazing thing. Um, so yeah, um, I hope to see you there. As, as survivors, we have adapted to circumstances that we did not foresee. And as survivors, we are stronger than we know by going through what we went, went through and persevering through those trials and tribulations. We have shown ourselves how strong we are and how adaptive we are and how we will survive no matter what happens to us. And with this support group, with this, with this foundation, with all of the love and, and connection that we have, there's no way that we can't stay strong and pull through this together as a family, as a ohana. Together we can pull, persevere through this. We will persevere through this no matter what. As a crew, as a team, as an ohana, as family. And there's nothing that can hold us back. And these support groups are what has helped me stay strong and stay, uh, stay grounded and stay positive mindset. Stay in my positive mindset. It's, it's a lot more helpful than I even realized before I joined the groups. So if you're considering them, I definitely suggest giving them a try and uh, you'll be able to see my face as well as many other familiar faces that you, uh, you know, you trust and you love. So I hope the best and wish the best for every single one of us and I uh, hope to see you guys uh, on these digital platforms. One love, my Ohana. I'm really thankful that we I have an outlet and a source like this, somewhere I can attend, somewhere I can go and just be part of something else, go for an hour, think about something that, that's not going out on around my life, um, kind of turn my phone off and just focus on being part of this support group and I'm very honored to be part of it. I um, I love the individuals who attend and who run it and like I said I couldn't picture my life without it. Thank you.